Ladies and gentlemen of the Broke Boys Club, welcome back to another episode of the No Money Spent series, man. Now jumping into episode five of our Broke Adventures. And the last episode, well, let's just say it ended up being an absolute banger and kind of started at the bottom for a little bit. Not only did we secure this diamond Kevin Johnson, but on the final game of the day on Clutch Time Online, if you guys didn't watch, I'm not sure what you're doing on this episode without watching the previous one, but we also got this diamond Danny Manning. So a very big dub to 2K. It was so funny because we were calling the wheel an absolute scam at the beginning of the episode. And of course we get blessed. Now, since we last uploaded an episode, there's been a lot of things happening on the no money spent. One thing that hasn't been happening is a locker code, but it is what it is. 2K's got a couple events going on this week for Thanksgiving. Today, it's season one takeover players that are in different modes. So for example, when I go ahead and look at triple threat, not only can you see the new takeover player, Kiki Van away who actually looks pretty decent but you can see diamond andrew wiggins and diamond tony parker are in there as well if you're someone just starting out this is the perfect opportunity to take advantage of it they might not be the best cards in the game but they're going to be better than whatever you have and that andrew wiggins would still play on my team to this day now on top of that like i said we've gotten some new packs since today we get some new glitch packs in them pink diamond dwight howard looking forward to getting that on my main account but of course we're budget ballers and this diamond stefan marbury he looks solid but i got a question will he be better than this other card we're going to be looking at pretty soon karis lavert i actually want i used this gold card in the past and the jumper is fire so depending on the stats he's likely going to be picked up isaiah stewart looks solid zare williams might honestly play and joe harris is not looking too shabby now on friday we got the magic johnson the cheesy cheese the creme de la creme of six nine point guards but of of course there's also the budget beast you got the diamond aaron gordon he looks solid diamond De'Aaron fox who i was hearing is the best budget point guard in the game did stefan take that crown we'll have to see and then of course there's a more budget magic i'm honestly not the biggest fan of magic but y'all can go ahead this one plays center and then there's also a rafe lafrance if you guys did not get that pink diamond joel and bead somehow now of course i wasn't wasting any time man we had to get right to it so i looked at the challenges went to skill and even though we got some new glitch one today i was getting these main event ones out of the way so even though these packs haven't been good to us i'm not giving up on them and honestly i don't think you guys should either now i want to see if there's anything i can combo with it at the same time because before i could try to get the moments royce o'neill and get that triple double or i could do the takeover i've already done kevin johnson but the kiki one again kiki looks good but he's not good enough where i'm gonna play 125 online games i'm gonna wait until pink diamond starts showing up before we start doing anything like that but yeah i forgot to talk about that royce o'neill he looks like a very solid card i heard he's nice you got to get a triple double with a series one royce o'neill so i'll probably end up doing that off camera it's not that difficult hop into the 12 minute quarters and just take your time with it right now i'm focused on getting that magic johnson pack man we will get blessed at some point for those of you guys that have been grinding out these challenges let me know in the comments have you gotten lucky oh this is only triple threat up to 21 oh this is gonna be a breeze yeah let's walk right through this now of course if you guys are new to the channel please consider hitting that subscribe button we're officially 1500 subscribers away from 400,000 subscribers hoping to hit that for christmas and that'll be my nice little christmas gift but i appreciate all the love you guys have been showing i'm having a ton of fun with the no money spent especially this year just because there's so much you can grind and things you can choose that are options as a no money spent player and you don't have to put a ton of hours into the game either y'all can see most of the time when i'm playing this it's when I'm with you guys talking on camera. So you don't have to dump a bunch of hours and go for the trophy cases. Be smart and go for the right budget players. And just like that, we're done. Little playmaker pack and the main event award pack. Now I'm hoping we actually get blessed. There is that Amethyst Desmond Bain that's in there as well. And he's not a bad card, but his interior defense is just so bad. That's kind of why I didn't talk about him. I'm sure someone probably brought him up in the comments. And if you're just starting out in the game, not a bad option and we're back. After a streak of not getting any shakes, man, it looks like we're going to be getting a card from the set. Who's the blue? Anderson Verjao. It's a new card. Who knows? Might need a Cavs player in the future, so that's perfect. Everyone pause and let me know in the comments what do you think it's going to be. But in three, two, one, boom. Okay, so it's an Amethyst. That's still not bad. That could be Magic Johnson. That could be Desmond Bain. And hopefully not Rafe Friends, because I can't really use him like that. But I wouldn't mind Magic, actually. 
And it looks like it's going to be the guy we were literally just talking about. I don't exactly have any firepower off the bench. So Desmond Bain's going to be perfect. He's also got some XP associated with him. So that's going to be great as well. Like I said, most of the time when I'm playing this, I'm on camera. So I haven't had the chance to really XP grind like crazy. A bunch of games have been coming out recently. Pokemon. I've been enjoying the new Call of Duty. So I've been all over the place. But right here, we've got a chance at the Ascension board. Not really worried about Ben Wallace because we got him. But there's a chance at just getting things that are going to be worth a ton of MT uniforms that's not exactly ideal show me something good 150 mt okay where's the thousands where's the two thousands where's the diamond shoes it looks like they reduced the odds on these but every time i say that something good happens so i'm waiting for something nice to happen right here that top corner there is always good two tokens that's not too bad we've been gathering these tokens in case we need any players that's an extra three picks 150 mt yeah this is looking chalk so far i mean don't get me wrong free mt is free mt sapphire coach is actually the best thing we pulled right now i was letting you guys know that coaches are so expensive silver badge that could end up being something decent not exactly the best thing but one thing that is going to be a guaranteed upgrade is that coach again if you guys have an amethyst or diamond coach and they're still going for a ton i recommend you sell them because you don't got to hold on to it steve nash that's tragic because this man literally just got fired no, hey we actually have a challenge where we don't have to get a steal 10 threes and three blocks honestly that's a walk in the park joel and Embiid, let's get it done so I decided to throw Desmond Bain in here for this challenge just to see what that jumper is looking like. Is he a budget beast? He is not. I don't like that jumper. If you know how to use it, by all means, go for it. But that catapult load up is personally not for me. His player model is tough, though, because this dude is built. But aside from that, that's a pass from me. So uh, thank goodness we got this Kelly Oubre as we break Karis LeVert there because uh, that Desmond Bain... It's not it. 6 for 16. On the bright side, 17 blocks with Joel Embiid. 3 was a walk in the park. It was nuts. The main event pack was good to us. Come on, Dwight Howard, one of my favorite players of all time. I simply need to get blessed. It is a ruby, so it could be a glitched player hoping for it. And it is going to be Zaire Williams. So that's not bad. Or Zaire. I kind of said that badly. My bad. Luka Doncic is in there as well. If we need a Maverick, we know exactly who to go for. The question is, what are his evil requirements? 150 points, 43 pointers, and 50 assists. That's not bad at all. Wait, did 2K start balancing these challenges? Because if that's the case, and he gets the limitless takeoff, posterizer, catch, and shoot. Oh, we got ourselves a budget beast. Yup, I like this one. Next, we got Mr. Stefan Marbury, who I'm assuming got boosted with defense because he always had a decent jumper, always could dunk, except now he is locked down. He's pretty much going to be a bald version of the pink diamond Derrick Rose because for those of you guys that don't know, their animations and jump shots are pretty much damn near the same. For 22,000 MT, that's not too shabby. Like, it's not a must buy for me though because I have 27k MT. Don't really want to invest into all that, but... Okay, so Darren Fox dropped to 21,000 MT, which is definitely not too shabby. Y'all can see defensively, he holds it down. He just has no interior, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. 97 speed, though. Hall of Fame quick first step and fast twitch. Ah, man. Do I bite on the De'Aaron Fox or do I bite on the Karis? So every time I refresh, Karis Levert is dropping in price. Are we going to get our first snipe here or the no money spent? Cheapest one is 81.50. I'm going to sit on this filter for like five minutes, attempt our first amethyst snipe here. If something happens, it happens. If not, then we're just buying something. Oh, 8,000. You know what? I'll just take it. I'll just take it. I'm not even mad. 8,000 for an amethyst who likely is going to be super legit. I want to try him out today too, because I'm definitely going to sell Larry Nance. And I'm also eventually going to sell this Desmond Bain. What I want to do though is get his XP out of the way. Figuring the best way to try these cards out, hop into Clutch Time Online, might as well start working on that Zaire Evo. Plus, we're yet to see what this Danny Manny can do too. So a bunch of new cards here on the team. Let's go for that 10 wins. Who knows? We might get lucky on that wheel spin again. Oh my. Okay, that's a lot of money spent on a team. <laughs> we got a Ruby Zaire out here. Let's see what we can do. So the best part about being a budget player, people are always going to underestimate you. This is not the best squad, but we can still make things happen. Oh, I'm not getting open. A little behind the back. Oh, he's sleeping on Zaire. Open for three. Did this man just stop holding his controller? That was just too easy. Throw it here. Throw it here. That's a steal. He went through. Yo. Yo, 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 yo. This man's running with his head down. MB, you got to be contesting Ray Allen. Thank you. 
Get down the court, big man. There's no one here that can stop you. Gary Payton, I'm not worried about that. Drop set. Pump fake. Why are we all down here? Why are we all down here? Spread the floor. Throw that here. Good defense there, Danny Manning. Come on. Let's get down the court. Together. Joel Embiid is getting blocked. Come on, guys. All right, let's go out to Zaire. This man's been my bucket. Look at him out here open. I love that card. Oh, my. I suggest you guys go get him. I'm assuming Evo, he is going to be a dog. Good defense, good defense. He's just holding R2 at the rim with his head cut off. I give up a mid-range there, and he's still going to miss it. Do you guys see how slow the game is currently playing? It's a very odd pace. If I can get that screen today, and he can bump it, I'm stopping. Oh, I thought I had that. Zaire's down there, and he's giving me the lead. A ruby card is carrying our team right now against pink diamonds. We here, we here, we here, we here. Good defense there, Embiid. Look at Embiid holding it down. I look at Zaire with a clutch defense. Got the rebound. Oh, Morty down the court. Yup. Cherry picking. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Get there, get there. Good defense, good defense. Get there. No way he hits that. Bruh. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Calm down, calm down. We're good. We're good. The game is playing at like 10 frames per second, but we're good. I see who he's sitting on. Oh, yeah, Zaire. Take it all the way. Draw the foul. And these are going to be big time free throws. 6-9 at small forward. Honestly, phenomenal. Go ahead and hit that free throw. Yeah, I'm going to say this right now, guys. A lot of you budget players are going to be running this card. Especially once he gets his Hall of Fame badges. An extra boost. Oh, no. Don't give up a bucket. Get back on defense. Jumping at that good D. Oh. <laughs> he just put his head down and he ran at the rim. That was his strategy all game. And we just beat a team worth arguably a million MT with no money spent. I love it. That right there has to be one of my favorite things about doing the series is being able to go out here with cards that I wouldn't typically use on my main account and being able to have fun with them and still compete against better teams. But y'all can see on the wheel, they've got Anthony Edwards and Bill Russell on top of, you know, Kevin Johnson, who we don't want anymore, and Kiki Vanderway. So let me see if I can use the same strategy as last time. That's what I did. Will it work? It almost did. So wait for the bar to fill up twice and then on the half you click on it. That's what I was watching back my old video and that's how I ended up landing on Danny Manning. That is the new strategy, but hey, this team's doing its thing. Let's keep it going. So I can't really call this next guy money spent because he's got all trophy case players. You can get that no money spent for sure. Look at MB taking 10 years to set a screen. KJ's got no burst in him whatsoever, but he's gonna put Westbrook in the rim. Yo, Zaire, why are you just standing in front of me for? Okay, make it make sense. All the way. Kevin Johnson's a dog. I'll see if I can catch him off guard with Zaire. Because I really am trying to do this Evo at the same time. But if Kevin Johnson gets more chances at the rim, he's not wasting it. I really like this card. Obviously, he's not good for defensive purposes. But he's so fun on offense. What is this guy doing? Why are you trying to save time? This is not the NBA Finals. I've heard James Worthy's tough. But my team is simply tougher. Come on, get up the court. Oh, he's fouling. Is that a transition take? It's not. Okay, so he's definitely trying, but y'all can see, man, it's not so much about the players that you have, more so how you use them. Nobody would expect me to go out here with Zaire Williams today until I did. Look at this. Kevin Johnson draws the foul, almost gets the end one, and we got some free throws. I guarantee you by the next episode, Zaire is going to be evoed. I can tell you that. I'll probably end up grinding him out with some XP. Maybe I'll look into that Isaiah Stewart if he's nice enough. You guys will know by tomorrow as well. Now, for those guys that also don't know, 2K is going to be replacing Kevin Johnson tomorrow with diamond og ananobi and in case you don't know his stats here they are on the screen he's gonna be such a good card i'm trying to play defense and commentate at the same time and it's tough but yeah that og card is probably gonna be the best card we've gotten this season and it's gonna be on a tuesday which means no multiplayer games that's a big dub but right here we got a tie game i gotta lock in go to zaire that's an easy blow by all the way to the rim zaire williams this man is hooping. MB, please hold it down. Please hold it down. Good defense. There we go. Lock it down. He's got four seconds. He's going to run at the rim. Good block there by Danny Manning. Whoo! For a budget team, we are hooping today. Pump fake. Inside to Zaire. Pump fake. He's in the air all the way through. And the Ruby card continues to put on pure domination. Please lock down on defense. There we go. Good defense. Good defense. Look at that. He just tried to mash. Thank you. Finally, that doesn't work. He's got to go for the foul, and we got some free throws. Yo, people in clutch time are a little bit weird today. I got to be honest. And beat, I need you to clutch up these free throws, though. 
We cannot give him an opportunity for a three. I'm going to foul him if I have to, but good job, Embiid. We need those. Good defense. Good defense. Hold it down. Hold it down. If he goes for the two, he's getting stopped anyways by the Kevin Johnson. Give the ball to Zaire in case he wants to foul. Psych! No sportsmanship here. None. All right, let's use the method again. One bar, two bar, half. Oh, that was just past half. I don't know about that one. Yeah, that one was not looking good. I'm gonna be honest, my reaction time was kind of cooked there, but we do end up getting pretty close to Bill Russell there. It's gonna be 200 MT, but Bill Russell isn't exactly someone that would play anyways. I want that Anthony Edwards. Anthony Edwards or Kiki would be great. Ah, so it looks like we've ran into a fellow budget player. Now this guy clearly does not watch my series because all those are budget players, yes, but they are not the best or really that good of budget options. So, I mean, at the end of the day, use whoever you want, but Amethyst Michael Jordan, I would just make MT off of that ASAP. How is 70? Fake the screen, hit that screen, thank you, stopping. Popping, Kevin Johnson, I need you right now, baby. Way to knock it down. Come on, Embiid, I need you to be tough at that center spot. That was not the best screen, but luckily we got KJ who just dunks everything at the rim. He might be 6'1", but he is powerful. Michael Jeffrey Jordan, let me introduce you to Zaire and Joel Embiid. If that would have... Yo, there's too many close calls here. Karis LeVert's in the corner. Will he be open? No, he will not. There we go, in. Cross it up. Thank you. Into that leaner. Karis, you're such a bucket. You're such a bucket. Get there. Embiid, I need you. Oh. Zaire, he gets the block. Oh my goodness, this card's amazing. All the way through, dot that corner. That's easy money. 74 three ball, it's no problem. And to think that it's gonna be increased even more. He is so, he's good, okay? I've said this 20 times already. Not the cleanest win right there, but at the end of the day, a win's a win. Let's try this wheel method one more time. Uno, dos, and a half, and I'm late there by just a second. So I think I'm looking at the half too much that I'm not able to focus on where it should actually go. And in this case, we're getting at 150 MT. Not too bad. Yeah, so Zaire is going for 3,800 MT. And honestly, I think I'm gonna buy this one because it's holographic and shiny. And yep, yeah, just like that, it's gone. But y'all can see for 4,000 MT with an Evo that's not too hard, and y'all saw what he was doing on the floor, I definitely recommend this card. I'm assuming there's probably some key badge or something that he's missing, but honestly, as long as he's 6'9 with these kind of stats, he's just gonna be able to do whatever for me. At, at small forward, when you're starting out this early, I'm very, very impressed with how good he is. Now, Karis LeVert, he's gonna be here to stay as well. I wasted no time. I threw Lance Stevenson up on the auction. Hopefully, he can sell. The only reason why he might not is because you can't search his name. You physically have to go to the card and search for it. So if someone goes ahead and buys it, you will be an absolute gem for me, but... Yeah, man, I think I'm good on clutch time online for now. Next game isn't really gonna be a wheel spin. I kinda wanna play a couple of triple threat offline games just for fun here to see if we can get this vault to open. With all the Thanksgiving events that are gonna be going on this week though, definitely expect multiple episodes of the no money spent. The only reason I got Bane on the floor right now is because I wanna do that challenge where I get the seven threes. And right now triple threat is on a very easy difficulty when you first start off. So I'm just taking advantage of that. Plus I need to get assist with Zaire right now anyway. So. Why not kill two birds with one stone? I mean, his jumper off the catch isn't the worst. It's just personally not my favorite. I'm gonna say what I said last episode. Clutch time wheels are a scam. Triple threat vaults are also a scam. Now show me a diamond to prove that you're not. Oh, it's gonna open. Imagine if that ended up being a player 1200 MT though. That's not bad. Let me run a couple more of these. Can we go two for two? I know the vault does not open this year. And honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of this animation because it takes 20 years to let you know that it's just not gonna open. I'll play until it opens one more time and then we'll call it because honestly, any of these rewards except for two tokens is looking pretty sweet. So it's just getting it open that's the problem. If I could ask for anything 2K, it would be to change this animation. And once again, it's gonna close on us. I just want it to open once, just once. Hey, it's opening. And it's gonna be 1250 MT again. Honestly, I'm not mad at that. I'll take my winnings there. That's pretty much like what? 2500 MT in three games, which for a budget player, I would say that's a pretty big dub. Got ourselves an elite franchise moment. We can use that towards a pink diamond. And in the next episode, honestly, whenever I decide to do my domination grind, we can pretty much get a pink diamond at some point. I've honestly just been lazy with it because it's been more fun using newer recent budget cards, but yeah, likely by the next episode, as you guys can see right here, I'm gonna have this Zaire Williams Evo. The threes are so easy, 50 assists are easy. If this is the case for the other Evos that dropped today as well, I might just go ahead and get them all done at the same time. Because again, man, the boost that this card is going to get, 
he is going to be on my team for a good while up until you know og ananobi will eventually start right there but yeah that off the bench small forward is pretty much secured i can move kelly Oubre right here i no longer really need duncan robinson like that so i can probably put him here i also need to sell kareem but this right here is going to be a placeholder for og we're definitely going to need to get a new point guard by next episode at the minimum because i do want to get ready to eventually jump into you know some unlimited games those are going to be fun but my starting lineup man very very cheap three of these cards are free two of them well four of them were free technically one of them was 10k this whole starting five was 10,000 mt but yeah man i'm gonna get to grinding not much else to really do today i'm looking forward to the og expect a bunch of no money spent this week but uh yeah it's gonna do it if you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a like for you new viewers sub up 400k around the corner i appreciate the love as always and take care